Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. This video will be a short one and it is about bug fix and update. We found two bugs and one is a pretty simple mistake so not a big deal, we can easily fix it. But the other one turned out to be kind of a fundamental system bug and I realized it requires a little overhaul of our object handling system. So I decided to dedicate this video for fixing these bugs. I apologize to everyone who are expecting to add something new, but we can't just continue leaving this bug, so I hope you can bear with me. I'm also learning a lot myself as creating this series, and sometimes things don't go as you planned, unfortunately. On the positive side, we can utilize the fixed object system to make our loading system a little more efficient. So at least there are some benefits in it. I want to say thank you to my viewers for giving me a lot of good suggestions, especially this time to Kamisama who found the object system bug and Barkeyu who found another small bug and also Giorgio, who gave me a great hint to solve the major object bug and improve our system. Okay, let's take care of the small bug first. So in the last video, we updated our dialogue system and put these texts in the dialogue arrays. Overall, it's working fine, but I made one mistake here. So here we put this leveling up text to the dialogue array, but we are using a variable here, which means this value can change depending on the player's current level. And what is happening now is even if the player becomes level two or three, it still says you are level one. That's because when we called this set dialogue method from the constructor, this dialog array get this as a string, so as a text information, and since we call it when this class is created, so naturally the array receives this value as one. But when we want to display a text which contains a variable like this, we need to update it and apply the current value so before calling this start dialog method, we need to put a text like this so we can apply the current level or we can also call the set dialog method again here. So this is also fine. Yeah, so now the player's current level is displayed. So that's the first bug. Now let's move on to the major object system bug. I'll show you what is happening exactly. So when you buy multiple equipment from the merchant, for example, if you bought three swords from him, and uh, equip one of them. Yeah, so as you can see, all these three swords get highlighted as his current weapon. So this looks wrong. If the item is stackable, this doesn't happen. It only happens when you get multiple non-stackable items. Yeah, this was my mistake and uh, let me explain why this is happening. When we created this merchant class, we put these items in his inventory. And if we buy three swords, that means we put this same object in the player's inventory. So basically all these three array slots are just referencing to this item. So these three swords are actually the same object. And to confirm this, I did a little experiment. I added a durability parameter to these entities 
and arranged the code so the durability decreases every time you swing a weapon. So this is just for testing, so I will not use this in the actual game. So when you swing a sword, the durability decreases. And okay, let's buy some swords. Equip this and swing it. Yeah, so as you can see, all these souls durabilities decrease. So this clearly indicates that they are the same object, not this default sword. So, you know, even if you swing one of these souls, it won't affect this sword because this is something we had from the beginning. So this is a different object. And what we needed to do is every time we buy an item, we get it as a new object. If it's a sword, we have to new this sword. So this totally slipped my mind, but we can fix this. And doing so ultimately improve our loading system too. So let's do it. First open one of these object classes and create a static string I'm gonna name this obj name and set the object's name this one and instead of setting text here we pass this static string and we'll do the same to all these objects okay that's everything then we create a class and I'm gonna name this entity generator and uh, get game panel constructor and this class is pretty simple it has only one function receive an object name and return an object so exactly what we did in this get object method in this save world class actually we can just move this method to this class you know we can do this in this save world class too but now we need it not only for loading items but other situations as well so I thought handling it as a class is more convenient. But this time we don't need to type these names manually like this. Instead, we can use those static strings like this. So now we don't need to worry about mistyping these names. Also, even if we change these item names later, we don't need to update these conditions. So this get object method is a little more efficient now. And this method is based on a suggestion from Giorgio. So thanks again for the comment. And this time, not only these inventory items and uh, this, you know, obstacle, we add every object to this switch. So axe boots, chest, okay, I'm gonna change the order. Axe boots, chest, coin bronze, yeah.
Yeah, that's everything, I think. Now back to this save world class, and we are getting some errors because this class doesn't have this get object method anymore. So, okay, first go to this game panel and uh, initialize the class. And okay, so here at gp.egenerator. Yeah, hmm. okay. So we're gonna add this to this one and this one too. Okay, yeah, let's check this loading system. Uh, okay, so get some item and uh, save the game uh, end the game quit the game and launch the game again and load game yep okay I think it's working just like before okay finally let's fix this merchant item issue so when you buy an item the program calls this can obtain item method in player class and uh, okay where is it yeah this is where we actually put the item in the player's inventory so here instead of just passing an object from the merchant's inventory we pass it as a new item okay first entity new item equal gp.egenerator.getObject and uh, item.name So we are receiving this entity. This is an item in merchant's inventory. So we're gonna pass the item name to this get object method. Then this is gonna return a new object based on its name. So we can get it as a new item. So now we just need to put this new item to the player's inventory. So we're gonna change this item to new item because we want to handle it as a new object and uh, yeah here so this is the most important part we're gonna pass this new item yeah that's it I think Let's check. Okay, so let's buy three swords. One, two, three. And equip one of them. Okay. And okay, swing. So durability 100 now. So swing. And 87 now. What about other swords? Yeah, it's still 100. So now these are different objects. So I think the issue is fixed now. Yeah, this was another pretty big overhaul, but it was also a good reminder for me about the concept of object in programming and the difference between new object and uh, just referencing to the same object. Yeah, thank you for your patience. You guys are definitely making this program better than something I could do alone. Hopefully there will be no major bug like this though. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and uh, until next time.